Mark here, Mark in the pit. Today I'm making rock bass. Yay! I'm making a whole fish. When you get a fish, um, you want to check its eyes. That's a good way to tell if it's good or not. If they're cloudy, then you might want to pass on it. Now I got this guy yesterday, his eyes were nice and clean yesterday. They're starting to gloss over and get a little bit cloudy, but I think he's still good enough that I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to... I'm just going to kind of break the skin on the outside. I don't want to cut too far down to the, into the meat, but I do, I do want to break the skin. I'm going to try and get some of the, uh, the salt that I put on the outside on the inside. Now I'm leaving the head on because the head's got really great meat, and like right up here. Alright, so to start, we're going to put some salt and pepper on it. And uh, don't be afraid to change your gloves. Don't be afraid to take them off and use clean hands on your uh, on your shakers and stuff. I hate it when my uh, when my salt pepper shakers get all slimy. It bugs the crap out of me. Just use a regular iodized salt. All right. Now for the stuffing. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some uh, mushrooms in it. I'm just going to put them right inside. Fresh minced ginger in it and on it. My wife loves ginger, so I'm not going to be shy with it. Uh, cherries. These just happen to be local and uh, fresh. Usually when I'm cooking, it's just whatever I have laying around. Sage on it and in it. Fresh uh, cut garlic. Okay, we're going to go on it and in it. Butter, it's about two tablespoons. Just going to kind of glob it on there. And then we're going to top that with some uh, lemon slices. Is that a funny piece? I don't like the look of that one. Now I'm going to heat up the uh, Kamado. I want to cook it about. Uh, I don't know, the size of this, I'd say maybe 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to do between 350 and 400. All right, let's slide it off to one side so I can get it to fit in the grill. Now, I'm making potatoes, uh, just regular baked potatoes. I cheat, I put them in the microwave, and then to finish them up, I throw them in the grill. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this fish on there. I'm going to have to turn them a little bit just to get them to fit right. And then I'm going to put my uh, couple of potatoes on there too. And I think, uh, I think this will all turn out pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and drop some, uh, some wood chips down. I'm just going to drop them through the grate. I think that'll be fine. Alright, we're about oh, 15 minutes in. I uh, turned everything around so that we get kind of an even cook. It smells great. Almost there. So here's the end result. It looks pretty good, I think. Now let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Let's try some of this out. Ooh, the garlic's pretty good. Let me get a fork. I'm just going to dig right through the skin here. Yeah, it tastes alright. Kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of like muddy, I guess, and uh, kind of flat. I don't think I like it. Not my kind of fish. It looks nice though. Well, I'm gonna eat it anyway. But yeah, check that out. That's my dog. <laughs>
Hmm. Well, it's a lot. It's a lot more. It's a lot more mild today. This would be good in a fish taco today. It doesn't taste as muddy as it did yesterday. So maybe there's something wrong with my tasting. It's still not my favorite fish. 